hello guys so today i'm going to show you all how to measure the elapsed time of a java programs and i'm going to use a use an id named dr java and i'm going to put in the link in the description so so that you guys can download it from there uh, so okay so let's dive into it um why and i forgot to mention and i'm using jdk 8.0191 and I assume that you guys already have some basics idea about uh, Java programming so I'm not going to mention anything uh, that is uh, um, that is basically very really, really basics uh, okay so start writing the I'm, I'm going to start writing the program starts as you guys all, all know so I'm going to uh, show you two ways to uh, measure the elapsed time one current time milis and another one is narrow time so I'm going to start with uh, current time milis and I at, uh, at the start I, I, I have to actually uh, declare a variable name start and I'm going to explain why uh, we have to do it I'm going to follow the method now. There is already built in the uh, built in Java. So uh, this start variable is going to is going to be assigned with the uh, system time with millisecond precession. And now I'm going to print hundred lines. Uh, this is going to be some random lines. So. I'm going to run the loop 100 times. And I'm going to need to put in a caliber, caliber parenthesis. So I'm going to just write one, uh, one line inside the um, for loop. So I'll say this is this program. And the loop is completed. Now I have to uh, declare another variable to uh, to assign uh, assign with the uh, in time to see how how much time uh, this for loop has taken. So Subtract uh, start from in Why am I doing this? Because uh, in the in the world where uh, the for loop uh, is stopped, um, the for loop will, will actually stopped, and I'm going to divide this with thousand uh, because I want the time in seconds, and uh, that time was actually. Uh, counted was in milliseconds, so I have to divide by one thousand, as you uh, as you guys can already assume. So now I'm going to print the time that has been taken by the program. As we total time, is equal to uh, is equal to total. Uh, but this is the total variable that I'm going to put in. And the program is completed. Uh, let's run the program. Oh, I have to compile before, before, before running the program. <laughs> okay. As you guys can see, compilation completed. And I'm going to run the program now. Uh, I have made some mistakes. I have to uh, cast the long variable to double since it, uh, both of the variable were in, was in uh, long. So I have to uh, cast it in double to get uh, precession, precise, um, get the precise time. Uh, sorry for my mistake. 
I have to compile it again and I am going to run now. There you go. As you can see, uh, my program took 1.483 seconds. I could even use a S here to make it look good. And uh, as I said, uh, this this method is actually dependent on the system time and I'm going to show you how it is. Uh, let's in the start time. Start. And I'm going to print the int variable as well. Okay. And the in the I have Print. I'm going to print uh, start and in variable. As you guys can see, I think I should actually bring the print both of these variables together. My bad. Mm. I have to compile it and then I have to run it again. Uh, so there you can see the time was in uh, long so uh, so I'm going to show you now how it is dependent on uh, system time for this I have to go to uh, go, go to my settings so I'm going to settings now and I'm going to change my time to show you how it is uh, exactly dependent on system time I change it okay so now I'm going to run the program again uh, you see there is some uh, slight changes here uh, I'm going to go to console to show you how it is exa exactly changed. Uh, so, so this was the result of the previous, uh, previous, uh, uh, pre uh, uh, this was this is the result of the uh, previous run that we uh, took uh, a few seconds back. Uh, now you can see here that there are 13 digits and here it is probably 12 or uh, it is probably 12 i don't know you can count it on your own uh, i'm just uh, showing you this because uh, i just wanted to uh, show you how how it is dependent on system time so uh, let's just set it back to automatic and now i'm going to show you um, another process how it could be uh, measured now I'm going to use the narrow time method. And same. And I will suggest you all to use narrow time because uh, the precession of uh, narrow time is actually better than current time is. So. Uh, it, it would be the better option to use narrow time. Okay. And I think the rest can stay the same. Oh, I, I now I have to divide. We can do one line. Okay, I think this is all right. So let's run the program. Oh, I have to compile it. And let's run the program now. As you guys can see, uh, this is the time that has been taken by the program to uh, to run. So, so that's all for today if you guys have any questions you can 
put in your uh, put in the questions in the comment section and like share and uh, like and like my video and subscribe my channel thank you